Hi guys, welcome to 5 Minute Monday. I'm Tommy Harden. Uh, I'm going to do something a little different this week. I'm over at Ocean Way, the famous Ocean Way A in Nashville, Tennessee. I'll get, let you guys get a look at this. I love the studio. It's one of my favorite studios in town. The, the, the room is just amazing. There's the control room back there. Today we're going to do something a little different. Uh, we're going to talk about studio etiquette. There's a few things, especially for a drummer, that makes sense in terms of things to do and things not to do. So let's just launch right into it. Um, uh, one thing that's really important uh, as a drummer is to not practice in the studio. Uh, do you practice in at home? Uh, if you're not working on something directly pertaining to the song that you're recording, and just sit there. Uh, get your sounds, you get your sounds in the morning. I always come in uh, early. What I try to do is my goal is to try to get my sounds done before anybody else shows up. So if it's a 10 o'clock session, I generally will show up around 9.15, something like that. Uh, on, a, on Masters, I'll show up earlier. Uh, you know, on Masters, I'll show up as early as 8.30 to get drum sounds. Um, but basically, once the drum sounds are done, you do your playing when you play the song, and that's it. Um, I actually had a player today comment on, boy, it's really nice that I don't have to walk in and just hear the drums banging all the time. Um, so, uh, but if it's pertaining to a song that you're recording, by all means, work on your part. You know, it's, that's totally acceptable. Um, another thing uh, that I've always been taught, and there's usually an engineer sitting in the control room, and there's usually a producer so there's usually an engineer's chair and a producer's chair. Never sit in the producer's chair. It's just bad courtesy. Um, that producer's chair is for the producer. Find another chair. Find another place to stand. So um, it's just something I've, I've, I was taught by my drum teacher a long time ago. Um, you know, just stand, stand somewhere else. Don't sit in the producer's chair. Um, another thing to avoid doing is uh, cutting up too much. Um, in Nashville, uh, on the sessions that we do, we, we have a lot of fun. We, we cut up, we screw around, we play practical jokes on each other, and we have fun. But when it comes time to work, we work. So a, a place that you especially uh, uh, notice it is after we play a take and everybody's done, we go and do the next song, they'll pass out charts and start playing the work tape. Um, what you should do is put yourself in in the uh, the shoes of the songwriter. You've poured out your soul to write this song. You've possibly spent days on it, and you get there. You've you know you've booked this session. You're real excited to record this song. You pass the charts out, and the the work tape starts rolling, and people aren't even paying attention. They're they're telling jokes or they're talking to each other. Um, it, it would tick you off as a songwriter. So as a player, when that chart is passed out, when you're listening down, really focus and pay attention and really seriously get into the music. Try to figure out what you can bring to the table differently, what, uh, how you can improve that song, uh, any thoughts and suggestions that you can throw out. And, you know, th that's another thing, too, is throwing out thoughts and suggestions without becoming trying to become the producer. You kind of have to play that one out um, you know if you have a great idea think about it you know uh, throw it out if you don't think if it's if you're just throwing out an idea to throw out an idea or to make yourself look good don't do that but if it's gonna, something that's going to enhance the song throw it out and be prepared for that for it to totally be uh, shot out of the air because nine times out of ten they they are shot out of the air and these songwriters or producers or whoever have probably thought about it um, but you know, throw out a suggestion, and uh, and see. You never know. So that's just a few little tips on studio etiquette. Um, really, the most important thing is is by you being there, you've got to enhance that music, make it better. Um, you know, make them want to have you back. So that's our five minute money for today. Um, and if you guys have any questions, please tweet me and, 
or leave a comment on the blog site or find me on Facebook. And I hope you have a great week, and I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.